Great Slave Escape of 1848. It started in early August 1848, and then eventually it ends in Bracken County. Patrick Doyle, his slave uprising, represented the largest single slave uprising in Kentucky history. Patrick Doyle was a white Suspected leader of the slavery revolt, Patrick Doyle was a college student at Center College in Danville, Kentucky, in Monroe County. Um, in Monroe County, Center College was founded by the Presbyterians. The biggest slave revolt in Kentucky resulted in gun battles being fought in Harrison and Bracken counties. Patrick Doyle and 75 well-armed Fayette Bourbon, Fayette and Bourbon County slaves. So Fayette County is Lexington. Uh, Patrick Doyle and 75 well-armed Fayette and Bourbon County slaves in early August 1848 uh, wanted to lead the bondsmen, the slave bondsmen, to Ohio, charging them $10 each to go over the Ohio River into freedom where they could ride the Underground Railroad to opportunity and prosperity. When the slave uprising began, a 5000 reward was immediately offered. Patrick Doyle fled in the late summer of 1848 from central Kentucky into the hemp fields. So there was hemp fields in 1848 in Kentucky near, near Milford in southern Bracken County with 100 local men in pursuit of him. The armed contingent of slaves made its way from Fayette County Kentucky all the way to Bracken County where it was eventually confronted by a uh, hundred white men who were led by the soon to be confederate treasonous bastard General Lucius B. Desha of Harrison County, Kentucky. little background of who Lucia, Lucius B. Desha is of Harrison County. He's, uh, the, he's the son of Joseph Desha, who was a former governor of Kentucky before this time. So the state representative, General Lucius B. Desha, was the son of Joseph Desha, the former governor of Kentucky. The Deshas were French Huguenots, which were the Protestant Reformed Church of France. They were running away from King Louis the Fourteenth, not King Louis the Sixteenth. The French beheaded by the French revolutionaries, whose Louisville is named after. The Deshas, when they ran away from King Louis the Fourteenth, for you know, I guess being Protestants, they moved to Gallatin, Tennessee, which was named after an Indian war, to, uh, an Indian word. Uh, Tennessee is, which is also true of over half of the states in the United States. In Gallatin, Tennessee, the Deshas quickly started murdering all the Indians they could see in Tennessee with glee. Later on, Joseph Desha, the former governor of Kentucky, killed more Indians um, in Matt Anthony Wayne's campaign under William Henry Harrison, under President George Washington, against the Indians, against the Northwest Indian War, at the Battle of Fallen Timbers, against the Miami and Shawnee Indians in Ohio. As a general in the War of 1812, Joseph Desha kept on murdering Shawnee Indians and other Redskins, Engines when he commanded at the Battle of Thames, which was uh, a battle that killed Tecumseh and completely ended and destroyed the Shawnee resistance to the invading fascist Nazi English Protestant colonizers. Having then resettled in Mason County, Kentucky, Joseph Desha parlayed his military record into several terms in the state legislature. Joseph Desha and Henry Clay did not get along. Joseph Desha chaired the committee of the whole that debated Thomas Jefferson's Kentucky Resolutions of 1798, which spoke about the theory of nullification for states who didn't like the federal government's ways. The Panic of 1819 had ruined Kentucky's economy, and Joseph Desha made a second campaign for the governorship exclusively on promises of relief for the state's large debtor class. He was elected by a large majority, and debt relief partisans captured both houses of the General Assembly. Um, after the Kentucky Court of Appeals overturned debt relief laws favored by Joseph Desha and the majority of the legislature, the legislators abolished the court and created a replacement court to which Joseph Desha appointed several debt relief partisans. The existing court refused to acknowledge the legitimacy of the move, and during a period known as the Old Court New Court controversy, there were two courts of last resort in Kentucky. On November 4, 1824, just months after Joseph Desha was elected, Kentucky State Capitol building was destroyed by a fire. 1813 and 1824, they were Destroyed by a fire in both of these years, two times. Previous state houses were burnt down to the ground. 
Uh, some reports say that they were just log cabin state houses and that the state house had burnt down six times, uh, but others said that the 1824 state house was made of brick and it only mentioned two st years that the state house had burnt down. At the expiration of Joseph Deshav's term, he returned from he retired from public life and ultimately died at his son's home in Georgetown, Kentucky, on October 11th, 1824. So, as soon as he's elected, the whole fucking state house just burns down. You know, I don't know what that's about. On September 30th, 1861, in Cynthia. these folks were rounded up by Abraham Lincoln for afforded aid and comfort to the enemies of the government. Major J.R. Curry, judge of the Harrison County Court, Perry Warrett, the county court clerk, William B. Glave, the sheriff, and A.J. Morley, editor of the Cynthia News. After being processed at the U.S. barracks at Newport, Kentucky, the prisoners were transported to Camp Chase, which was near Columbus, Ohio. Camp Chase in Columbus, Ohio was a Union military prison during the Civil War for captured Confederate soldiers. State Representative General Lucius B. Desha, John Harmon Dills, and others fled to Tennessee to avoid arrest during this roundup. A 35th Ohio soldier wrote to his hometown newspaper that tombed armed secessionists fled Cynthiana the day before his regiment arrived, probably referring to State Representative Lucius B. Desha and Dill. State Representative General Desha was subsequently indicted in federal court for treason in January 1862 and in May 1862 was again indicted for the misdemeanor of recruiting for the Confederate Army. On July 26, 1826, State Representative Lucius B. Desha and ex-Mayor Samuel January of Cynthia and hundreds of prominent citizens in the state were put under arrest for disloyalty. This was after a June 20th, 1864 Cincinnati Gazette article which accused many of Cynthia, uh, Cynthia's citizens by name of treasonous acts during the John Hunt Morgan's recent raid. The townspeople treated the Union dead and wounded with disrespect, said the article, and declared Cynthiana is today the headquarters for lurking rebels. They were involved in the June 8th burning of the Townsend Bridge, directed the Confederates to a store which they robbed and buried buried the Union dead in the Negro quarter of the graveyard in most cases without coffins. By Monday, August 7th, so go back to the story, so that's that's who the Deshes were. Okay? So that's, uh, the, he was a governor, and now you got this fucking guy who's eventually going to be the Confederate uh, um, uh, general. So by Monday, August 7th, as the slaves neared Harrison County line, a large group of men led by General Lucius Desha of Harrison County closed in and chased the group north. Colonel Desha's men caught the slaves and two white men as they camped on a ridge near Reed's Mill on the north fork of the Licking River. Patrick Doyle and some of the slaves escaped that time, but the captured slaves were taken to jails in Claysville, Cynthiana, and Brooksville. Patrick Doyle and several slaves were later caught after a skirmish exchange of gunfire, but most of the group, over 40, 50 slaves, escaped out into the woods. Seven or eight slaves stood trial in Bracken County. Three were found guilty of insurrection and were hung. Some say they were pardoned by the governor of Kentucky, uh, but most says that they were hung, no party was given, and the others were acquitted and returned to their masses. Patrick Doyle was tried in Lexington, Fayette County, in an emotionally charged um, trial and was found guilty of enticing slaves to run away and was sentenced to 20 years in state penitentiary. Patrick Doyle was sentenced to 20 years of hard labor in the state penitentiary and the unnamed slaves who were not hung eventually returned to their white masses. Patrick Doyle was only given 20 years in prison because of all the white male privilege that he had. The vast majority of those who fled escaped. Patrick Doyle even though he himself was put into prison for 20 years for his actions, was able to liberate 50 black folks from their Kentucky masses. Patrick Doyle, just like Margaret Peggy Garner, who was raped her entire life by Archibald Gaines, a Presbyterian minister from, or Presbyterian uh, somebody, uh, important person from Boone County, Kentucky. 
He dies of typhoid in 1863. Patrick Doyle died of typhoid in 1863. Margaret Garner died of typhoid in 1858. Typhoid fever, just like cholera, is a common worldwide bacterial disease transmitted by the ingestion of food or water contaminated with the feces of an infected person. The bacterium is called Salmonella Interuca Interuca Serovar Typhi. One more time, that's Salmonella Interuca Interuca Serovar Typhi. The other heroes of Kentucky are Simon Gurdy, White Renegade for Kentucky's Shawnee, Willis Russell of Owen County, Abraham Lincoln of Hodgenville, Stephen Burbridge, the Union Marshal Law General in the Civil War, and Muhammad Ali, the greatest ever in the world.